Today we are tackling the bathroom closet, so stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Winter, I'm the Happy Camper, and today we're doing the spring cleaning series. I will link the playlist below and we're going to get started. These are drawers that I've had forever and ever and they have labels on them but those labels no longer apply over the years. Things have happened and in here is some wire. The rest is batteries, string, candle wick, a nylon which I use for my dryer. And there's some Oh, that's Velcro, industrial Velcro, mollies, lights, brackets, screws, more mollies, stuff right there. And then we have clamps, staples for the staple gun, more tacks, wallpaper, applicator things in there. In here is, are all brackets and some clamps. And in here, all screws, cup hooks, more cup hooks, and other things. In here we have frequently used things because, yeah, that's a, a biggie in here. And then down here is what it says on the thing, and nails and a file, piece of glue gun. This is the third one, and this again, this is random screws, staples for the staple gun, tape for plumbing, a faucet thing. This is all sewing, bias thread, you know, those things, bias tapes, more bias tapes, scotch tape. These are leftover connectors for the water heater that I installed. I don't know why I have those still. <laughs> and we've got that and the blades that go with it. I've got another one of these and I don't know where it is right now. These are little dots. These are, now see I could get rid of this. You hammer those into corners if you're making a frame yeah some fuses that's definitely trash i don't have my wee board anymore and then i've got this hinge that i bought for a specific reason that i never used it i'm going to get rid of all of this faucet stuff i know i don't need it and see now here's the wonderful thing as i'm looking at this <laughs> i happen to actually need these right now I have a curtain rod that hangs over my front door and one of these broke and I <laughs> and I didn't know if I had an extra set of them. I couldn't find any. Well, here they are. So now I can install my regular curtain rod back up there the way it belongs instead of the way I have it right now. Yay! Sweet! And the and I've got the screws to go with it. So I'm going to set those right over there it pays to spring clean you find things that you didn't know you needed i don't need that this can go back in here that can go back in there that is one of those little useful curtain rod items staples from down here can go up here because that's where these are right there kind of kind of you know make it more organized kind of thing. I'm pulling out all of the, let me back this up so you can see what I'm doing. I'm getting all of this out of here, the tacks, the clamps, and those are all loose tacks back there. I don't want to <laughs> stab myself, and I will, because that's how, it ro that's how we roll around here. These drawers are nearly impossible to get out of here. So that's a foot for a sewing machine. Rubber bands, staples. I just want to get to the tacks. Get them out of there. Hi. 
I don't like to be hurt. I don't like to be stabbed. And, and tacks can hurt you. Get these into the place where they go. Oh my goodness. They have holes already made to put them in. I'm trying to find the holes. If you're enjoying this content, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. It would help with the algorithm and it makes me feel good. <laughs> and I like it when I feel good. I think we all like it when we feel good. And then I've got some safety pins in there. So the tacks I'm going to put back in here, right there. The wallpaper, I use those a lot for all kinds of different things, crafting and whatnot. They make a great spatula. Safety pins will go in with the sewing. That zipper, that zipper foot is there. Oh, here's more tacks. Okay. And in here we have cutting items. Here's some more of this right here. So that can go up here. Okay, the brackets. This light is no good. Well, it is good. It, it requires batteries. These are just random screws. I've got a lot of random screws. <laughs> There's a little tiny drill bit that needs to go back where it belongs. Right there. And that's empty. String. That can go in the trash. I don't need it. The wick. I'm never going to use that. That can go bye-bye. The nylon. I do use that. I've got to change it out on my dryer, actually. Washers. Out of there. And I'll put that down there with the random screw. This wire, believe it or not, I do use that on occasion. It's very, very fine and thin wire. These are, there is nothing in my house that runs off of these batteries. Nothing. And then these are all hearing aid batteries that I have. No idea why I have them. <laughs> For, I think I bought them a long time ago because I needed them, I thought, for replacements for Christmas stuff that has hearing aid batteries for their power. And, or they came with, they might have come with it too because they're all individually packaged like that. So I'm going to put these just in a baggie on their own so they're just not hanging out all over the place. You know what I mean? Okay, so we have the washer thingies can go there. The brackets can go there. I'm pulling the brackets out of the other drawer that they're in right now. So these are screws with washers. What is that called? Washer and a bolt? bolt? Machine screws whatever that is. So I'm going to put those in here. And then I've got these clamps. I have these clamps, random screws. This came with something and I am sure that I don't need it for anything and I'm going to get rid of it. That's going to go in the trash. I've got a bag here that I'm throwing stuff into that I just am not going to use or need or want anymore. And I think all these random screws are part of that. They can go. <laughs> I have so many that I just, the cup hooks definitely stay. I use those. I just threw out those little safety pins. I'm getting rid of the batteries. I'm going to get rid of these. I don't need them. If I haven't touched this stuff in a year, I think it's time for it to go. It's time for it to fly. Time for you to fly. Whatever that song is, Ario Speedwagon. I just watched them yesterday. I'm getting rid of stuff. Now we're throwing things out. There is a bracket. 
that I won't get rid of because, uh, I don't know, my, my van builds, they're ever-changing, ever-green, ever-changing. So there's another cup hook. I don't need those that I can think of, but I'm going to keep them anyway for right now. Okay, so now I've got brackets. Those are big brackets. I, I need to put these on my door to my storage shed outside because my brackets that are out there, the wood has rotted around the screws, and so they have fallen off. And then this is a very large L bracket, and there's another drill bit that needs to get put away. See the nice thing about this? I'm finding drill bits that don't belong there and whatnot. So, and the screws are with that bracket right there. I'm going to drop the cup hooks in here. I'll put this here. I'll take this out. I'll put that there. There's the cup hook, so we'll put that up here. I think that can sit right there. This wire can go right here. Now, clamps. It's windy outside. It means maybe there's a storm coming. Clamps can go right there. I have not used this bias tape in decades. I'm getting rid of it. Oh my goodness, all these comics. <laughs> For some reason, I was saving the Family Circus comics. <laughs> not anymore. Out they go. <laughs> I don't think they're worth any money. And a washer and a butterfly. In the trash, this all goes. If I need bias tape, I'll buy some. I'm, that's just where I'm at at this point, because I'm sick of looking at the, this stuff. Years I've had this stuff and have not used it at all. Those are little sticky things. I don't need them. <laughs> this I do not need. I've got stuff sticking to the floor on this thing. These are fine. And in here, I definitely do not need this. I don't need this hinge. I don't need the fuses. <laughs> the little dots, I can keep that. The I can keep the tape. The string I do use on occasion. That can go in here. And then on top is something I have to put away somewhere else. I don't need any of this. Okay. There. I think... That takes care of all of that. Let's see what we have in this one. So I just took all the brackets out of here. Yeah, this is literally screws in here that are just fine where they are. This is, like I said, this is fine. I don't need to mess with that. I don't need to mess with that. And I don't need to mess with that. We're good to go there. Yay! Okay, moving on to what I had inside the blue bins that you see in the video when I start the video with the closet, these guys. So there are hand towels right here. This rag or this towel, this belongs outside in the van. And there was a shower curtain in there that I just really don't like. I ordered it on Amazon and when I got it, I'm not crazy about it. So it's going to go to the church. I bought all these baskets and they do fit in the closet in there. So what I'm gonna do is try to organize this with these baskets. There's one. That will go back there. This goes over here. This comes over here. And then these little cloths I cut up thinking I could use them for my facial cloths. They're way too rough and they're trash because they're, yeah, they're linty and it just didn't work out. So now this is empty and I have these and I like these better. So all of those towels fit in there. So next up is this bin and what's in here are my sheets. These are flannel pillowcases that I bought and they are not the best thing in the world. My hair gets stuck on them. Uh, you can't pull the hair off of the pillowcase. It's They're going bye-bye. They've got to go. These are my flannel sheets. I have to use flannel sheets on my bed 
even in the summer because the sheets are too cold and yeah even in the summer for some crazy reason to use any other kind of sheet it's just too cold these need to go back out in the van which is that's where they're going to go those are my van sheets these are my indoor exchange sheets with the ones i've got on the bed right now right there this is a euro pillowcase that i'm going to get rid of i don't need it I already have one and I don't need two because I only have one pillow. <laughs> it's the way I roll. I don't need two. <laughs> I have two towels that are the big, big, big bath towel. One is always in use and then I change it out for the other one. I don't know about the any of the rest of you, but I do not like sitting on a toilet seat that has any kind of coldness going on. So I order these off of Amazon. I get one, two, three, four. There are five in the package and I love them. They sit on the toilet nicely. They don't uh, move around and they're washable. You just throw them in the washer and put them back on. But I love the fact that I have five of them and they're all different colors. I'll link these below. I'll put them on my Amazon storefront for you as well. All of these items and this, they all sit on top of those white drawer units that I have. This was all on the top shelf in the closet in the bathroom. What I'm getting rid of is that iron right there. That bleach bottle is empty. Those two little cups are going because I have three cups. I don't need, I don't need that many to pour water into an iron. I'm keeping this iron. I'm getting rid of this toilet bowl cleaner because it does not work. It's Dollar Tree and it's nothing but water. Don't buy it there. These, this is Lime Away. This is all purpose cleaner, so those have to stay. This can go out in the van. This is my what I use to do my laundry and that and then back here is a little iron that I used for craft projects and this these are my dryer filters for my clothes dryer all right this closet is done sorry about the lighting again my light bulb in the bathroom burned out today as well So these are much easier to access. I moved those down. A shelf. I took the bins out of here because it's actually giving me more room not to have them. So my one towel and my sheets are right there. This is where I always store the toilet paper. And then I'm not really caring about what goes on on the bottom. It's fine down there. So that is my cleaned, spring cleaned closet. If you enjoyed this video and it inspired you, yay, I'm super happy that it did. Leave me a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, you can hit the subscription button. Yeah, and give it a ding on the notification bell and then you'll know when I upload a video. I love you, God loves you. See you next time.